testing. Okay. Oh. All righty. Well, good morning. Um, well, I'm going to preface this by saying this here is going to be somewhat rehearsed. Um, I tried to do a video of this last night, but, uh, I had, I had forgotten to, I had forgotten to shut off my uh, Twitch chat box, which is right smack in the middle, in the, on the bottom of the screen. So, it was kind of in the way, so. I ended up having a shit can that video, and now I gotta make another. Whoops. But, anyway, um, I was, uh, browsing the Twitch forums last night, and I saw a topic here that I haven't seen in a very, very long time. What do you look for in a Twitch streamer that you follow and subscribe to? Um, I don't know what part of the name I should be saying, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call him Bob. But, anyway, to get to the question, what do you look for in a Twitch streamer? Um, and before I continue, let me like that. Probably the, uh, the biggest thing I probably look for in a Twitch streamer is probably music. <clears throat> well, I don't want my tablet, but it, it's the music. That, to me, is make or break of any streamer. Um, he could be a, he could be a cool streamer, a cool guy. He could be, he could be awesomely skilled, playing a great game. You know, just everything about it's going great. But if the music sucks, that, that breaks, that, that ends it. I'm, like I said, it, it, it completely ruins the rest of the stream. At least for me. <clears throat> I'm probably one of the few that thinks it, but I place a very high premium on music. Um, now, what would I consider bad music? Um, probably, um, country is definitely one of them. Although, to be fair, I very rarely hear it on, on Twitch. Uh, rap, I hear that fairly often on here. Not a fan. Or... Let me phrase it, especially uh, the newer stuff. If somebody was going old school 80s rap or something, I could probably tolerate that a little more. <clears throat> uh, dubstep slash techno slash house music. No fan of that. Too annoying, too distracting. Um, and uh, music that I probably hear at work every day. Walmart. You know, they got the Walmart radio. They're playing all the auto-tune pop music and... <clears throat> They're, you know, they're playing ditzy, brainless stuff, uh, you know, and then even when they do all go old school, they play mainstream shit that I've probably heard all my life. Didn't care for it then, I sure as hell don't care for it now. You know, that kind of music. Um, oh, I'm trying to think, what else? I think there is another type of music that I can't stand that streamers play a lot of, but I... <clears throat> Oh well, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back to it if I remember it. But um, moving right along, um, probably the second thing I look at in a streamer, um, whether or not they have a webcam. That's it's 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 pretty make or break. Not as much as music, but it is pretty important. Um, I I I should probably go ahead and say they got to have both a webcam and a mic. They gotta have both. Um, I, I gotta, I, I have to have, I have to have a face to go with a voice. Although without that webcam, it's just some disembodied voice. Very awkward, very awkward, very hard for me to get into. Um, uh, let me think. There's probably another thing I look for. Uh, do they um? Uh, if they, uh, if they curse a lot, it's a big time turn off. No, I don't, I mean, I don't mind somebody who curses once in a while, like if it's in the middle of a game and it's an intense moment and they got killed by a headshot or something, oh, fuck, you know, something like that. I mean, I under, I understand that. I mean, that, that I'm cool with, but whenever, you know, whenever fucking person is, every, every fucking person is every swearing every goddamn word every fucking time and fucking annoying as fucking shit, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, cursing like sailors. It, that, I mean, that gets annoying. You know, so that that's another one that makes me go. Pew. Um, see, I'm trying to think what else. I guess aside from that, 
or I can probably here. Let me just look at his first post. Do they need to be extremely skilled in the game they play? As far as uh, my what I usually stream is Path of Exile. Um, I kind of a happy medium. I guess um, I could probably go ahead and mention my uh, mention my turn offs or turn offs on a uh, Path of Exile. Uh, if I see uh, basically. If they're playing in any game mode except solo cell found, I've already lost interest. I'll still give the person a watch, but that's about it. Cause a lot of the a lot of the trade based leagues, the ones where uh, you can uh, party up with other players, you can uh, you can trade currency and stuff like that, you can buy and sell stuff. A lot of the players on there basically bought their builds. They have these uh one click clear builds that like you can run into a whole screen full of monsters click one ability they're magically wiped from the earth or wiped from the game you know and then you go into another go into another screen same thing pull a whole room full of monsters click one ability they're all gone I cannot stand I cannot stand those so those 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 I leave immediately um, on the flip side of that game if I um, if I see the opposite like if somebody's leveling especially in act one I, I've already lost interest in that too. It, I, it's painful as hell to watch. I mean, just uh, 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 one attack per second. I mean, it's painfully slow to watch. You know, and then not to mention, I gotta watch this guy do the entire storyline all over again. Um, this is also one of the, um, I guess, is a as a corollary to that, um, Path of Exile players who run temporary, or excuse me, who stream temporary leagues is another turnoff. Again, I'm no fan of starting over. That's one of the, probably one of the biggest reasons why I don't do it myself. I only want to have to create my characters once, not over and over after every uh, league starts up. So, so as far as, uh, do they need to be extremely skilled in the game they play? Uh, in a word, no. They don't have to have that Asian 250 actions per second or anything like that, no. Um, they need to be competent, though. Again, um, I guess probably a kind of a turnoff would be brand new players. Um, not, I'm definitely, I mean, I mean, they definitely have every right to be there, but a lot of th usually what I usually what I see in there is like, "Hi, I'm new. Come and help." Especially if you're a girl, especially if she's a hot girl. I mean, oh no, my first time playing Path of Exile. Help me, everybody. You know that suggests to be a boob streamer, or without the boobs. You know, you know that that's another t which, bring you know brings me to another probably another turn off boob streamers. I mean, now. Exceptions would exist on that, like, I mean, uh, boob streamers, you know, they're, you know, they probably stream Fortnite. Uh, PB, was it? PU or PUBG or whatever it's called. I don't know what it stands for, but uh, you know, something like that. If they're, you know, if they're on there, you know, I, I steer clear of them. They're just, you know, they're trying to be where all the boys are. You know, but if I if I saw a boob streamer streaming, say Path of Exile, mm, pretty popular, but not as popular as Fortnite or PUBG, um, I might go ahead and check her out. You I mean you don't see you don't see booby streamers in those places very often. Um, if I ever saw a booby streamer streaming, say Pinball Arcade, yeah, I'll be right over. I mean you, hell, you the few people that actually stream that game are all men. I mean very. I, I have yet to see a single girl stream one of those stream pinball arcade, so you know, for the rare girl that actually streams out, pew, yeah, I'm, I'm there. You don't see that every day. Um, but otherwise, for the most part, both streamers are a turn off. Um, personality, yeah, my personality, it's, um, uh, very nebulous with me. I I guess if uh, it it's hard to say because I'm I mean yeah, 
just like anybody else in this world, if you're an asshole, yeah, I want nothing to do with you. But um, everything else, I mean, you could be the nicest guy in the world, and you, I could still, I could still lose interest in you. Again, it, it, again, it's it's very ambiguous, so it it's a judgment call. So I'll skip that. I guess uh, another turn off I just thought of this. Uh, streamers that don't have a happy medium when it comes to talking, like uh, streamers that are totally dead silent, like you know. They got the headphones on. They got the microphone right in their mouth. But yeah, they ain't saying anything. You know, and um, the worst case scenario, even if I actually do type something down in chat trying to strike up a convo with them, they still ain't talking. Or, you know what I mean? It just, you know, it just ticks me off. I mean, you you got this here for a reason. You know, you know why did you bother getting a microphone if you're not going to talk into it? So... But then, um, on the flip side, then you got these uh, streamers that feel a need to just talk about anything, you know. Hey, man, here's my rapper. I had an ice cream sandwich with Steve. Look at that. Wow, we. Uh, oh, hey, look at this. This is a fork and a spoon. Hey, you know, and they, they see this need to fill every waking, every single moment of their stream with, with talk. I mean, that that's a turn off, too. So. I mean, you know, so I get streamers that try to find that, try to find that balance between silence and and chatter. So that, so that's another turn off. But I'll, oh, here's one. What's up? This is another side note here. Um, another thing I do is uh, I tend to avoid the high tier streamers, and I'm assuming when they meet when he means high tier. I'm guessing he means like those that are at the top of the page that have like a thousand viewers at a time, or I'd say probably at least a hundred plus, a hundred plus at a time. I stay away from them. A um, few too many bad experiences with them. Um, first off, the majority of the, hi the higher ups are all younger. Again, more often than not, they're the boob streamers. You know, um, you know they got the high viewer count. Presumably the majority of them being male, you know, so I mean No, no point in me being there. I mean if I wanted to watch some some girl with a uh, big fake tits I just go on Google and type down big fake tits and then you know click images You know, I wouldn't want to go on wouldn't need to go on twitch to do it. It's not why I'm there for I'm there to watch streamer streaming games, you know But I mean I'm kind of rambling off. I'm kind of rambling on here, but basically um I would rather, uh, usually I go whew, straight down to the bottom of that page, looking at the small time streamers. Um, I generally find them to be much better conversationalists than the ones at the top. At the top, it's, uh, from my experience, very bureaucratic. You're lucky to even get, you're lucky to even get a combo with them. Because they're probably either A, too busy playing their game because, you know, they're, you know, they got popularity to appeal to. They got a thousand viewers watching them, you know. So they have to focus on playing good, or, or two. They're so busy, you know, trying to read the chat, but the chat shit. <laughs> you know, type some, I type something down in chat. Up it goes. Never even seen or heard from again. I mean, I'm probably more likely to have my question answered by one of the other chatters, or, or maybe an auto, maybe a mod if, if they use it. I'm not an expert with them, but. You know, but I mean, my, my words probably won't even reach them. Like I said, very bureaucratic. You know, you don't want to write a question to the mayor, but it probably wouldn't even get to the mayor. It probably get to one of the secretaries or whatever. You just go ahead and answer the, or maybe go in here and find a form letter in response to this letter, send that, you know, seal it up and then mail it, you know, mail it back to me. It wouldn't even reach the mayor. Probably kind of the same principle here. You know, I've tried to talk to the streamer, but he's got so many other viewers on there. All these other people trying to talk to him. He, I ain't got to get no time with him. So, that's why I go down to the bottom. Zero viewers or one viewers or maybe even two viewers. Something like that. I'd probably have a better convo with him. Just 
It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I know my words are going to reach him. Or, let me repeat that. I'm much more likely to reach him than somebody at the top. So... But, um, aside from that... What sets apart a low-tier streamer from a higher-tier streamer? A high-tier streamer doesn't have any of the turnoffs. So, I, as simplistic and obvious as that might sound, that's, that's what I consider high-tier. But what I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, those that have those that have watched any of my videos or seen any of my streams, what I like to do is I like to just go down the thread and comment in everybody else's post. Everybody else's post, if relevant. Um, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not trying to expose or embarrass anybody, but it's easier for me, especially in a situation like this, to just talk it out. I, Lord knows, I do enough typing as it is. Uh, Gotta type down my Twitch stream description, then I gotta go and type down my Twitter Twitter stream description, and then and then um for Path of Exile, I always type down a Path of Exile blog post, and shh, I gotta do more typing on that, and then you know do the follow up blog, then I gotta gotta think of something snazzy to say on my follow up Twitter post, and then Google Plus, you know, etc. So I do enough of this as it is, so. Sometimes it's just nice to get it, take a break and talk. Okay, so. I really enjoy streamers who are genuinely positive. Emphasis on genuinely. Um, I've seen um, I've seen streamers that act like this too, like they're happy, I'm going upbeat. They're almost like Tony Little. They, they talk too much. They're really in your face. And hey, man, don't leave, man. I got a kid with him. Hey, man, guys, I'm coming up against this really big badass boss, man. Nobody going over here. You know, just acting like that because they're trying to keep the viewers from leaving and going to another channel. Um, for those that, uh, in case you don't know him, Tony Little, he was a, I think he was a bodybuilder. He did infomercials. He was the one to revolutionize. Peak. He'd be all loud and brashing in your face. Blah, 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 blah. He'd just go all kinds of crazy because he didn't because he didn't want people leaving his infomercial and going to watch something else. So he had to act. He had to act that way. And the key word act. He had to act that way because he didn't want people turning the channel on him. So for all the sense that makes. So emphasis on genuinely. Again, this kind of a side note to to people who streamers who talk too much uh, people who who have to act that way out of fear of uh, people leaving the stream that's another turn off uh, I said this earlier interested in interacting with our community find the happy medium Ah, yes, yes. Another turn off. Um, I think you, sh you definitely need a webcam. And um, having a chat box in there is a plus, but not a requirement. But this is mainly mainly with the top streamers. You, you go in there, it's like walking into a damn Jerry Lewis telethon. You know, you got the ticker tape, latest, you know, latest followers, ding, 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 all these names going across, and you got, you got ticker tape on top of that, uh, latest donation, ding, 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 and all these people that all, all, all these guys that made donations, I mean, it, you know, all this extra fluff, for lack of a better word, I mean, it's very off-putting for me, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to highlight this. Bothers me in a way that I come across streamers who don't actually talk too much. And your average at the game, yet have many, many viewers. For the life of me, I don't understand it either.
Uh, he must have a... I don't know if he's, uh... If he was rambling here or not. It, I'm having to read this... I'm having to read this sentence a few times. Um, the only... He must have some bad luck or something, because I've... I've yet to see this. I mean, I've, I mean, all the one. I mean, the ones that have many, many viewers are usually entertaining, and apparently they seem to enjoy the, enjoy all the, all the extra fluff, the ticker tape, and the tip jar and whatnot. Apparently, they enjoy it. I don't. Yeah, this is this is kind of going over my head. Acknowledging chat, acting like they're. Yes. No turn off right here. But um I'm probably more likely to see this among the higher tier streamers. Um probably the ones that actually are making a living off of it. Or at least the ones that are trying to actually make money off of it, if not make a living off of it. They're treating people like statistics. Um I'll I see this when they do have descriptions like road to 50 followers or come help me get come help me get my thousandth follower like you know like that's all you you know let's say hey look man look I really don't give two shits about you but hey man could you please come up could you please come on my channel and give me that follow thanks appreciate it you know that kind of thing it's true but it's also a cliche statement. Um, throughout my life, this is a cl or sorry to sorry to sound like a broken record, but I've gone through a lot of people like this throughout my life. I mean, yeah, I like real people too, not fake ones. Even the fake people say it though. That's the thing. Fake people say it. I like real people, not fake ones. They ignore the fact that they're fake themselves. Oh, years ago, there was a... I think there was a Twilight Zone episode. I I only read, like, a little... I think I read some paragraph on it. I, it's been years since I read it. But there was, like, one episode where... Uh, uh, one guy was... Uh, one guy was freaking out because everybody around him were robots. Um, and in, uh, the fact that uh, he was the only human being in there... Surrounded by all these robotic people in society who drive him nuts. He took a gun and killed himself. And when he shot himself, all these cogs and gears and springs and pew, shut out the side of his head or something like that. Sorry if that doesn't make any sense at all. But that's, that's the first thing that came to mind when reading that. Like I said, I mean, again, again, even fake people say this. So, I get what he means, but it it's a waste of a sentence. chat mostly abuse me and say they prefer my chair to me uh i have to know the people in real life or i'd have to know them pretty good and trust them in order for them to say stuff like this if somebody said this to me i'd abandon them immediately <laughs> quality memes Okay, so I follow people who run a channel. Does it easily? <sighs> okay, this one here might take me a while to read. So far, from what I'm reading, it's something totally different from what everybody else is putting down. Being good at a skill of the game helps, yes. Like I said, they don't they don't need to be master gamers or anything, just be competent. Yep. This is something else I used to enjoy doing back uh back when I was actually watching other streamers. You go down and watch a streamer, you chat them up a little bit, you chat them up for a while, then you, after a while you see them all of a sudden getting followers. 
you know, or you start getting better and better, you know, eventually they end up getting more followers than I do. I've been doing this for a year and a half, and I think I have about, I think I have like 60, 61 of them. Some of the streamers that I've uh, talked to, that I've hung out with when they were first starting, now have more followers than I do. Yeah, so, been there. Yep. A lot of the big streamers constantly ask for donations and subscribers. I believe these are the people that are trying to make money off of streaming. So that they're the ones, guys like myself. I mean, I already have a day. I already have a day job. Or excuse me, I already have a night job. I work the graveyard shift at Walmart. So I and believe it or not, believe it or not, it's actually the best job I've ever had. Of, you know, of all the other jobs I've had, Walmart was the best. Um, you probably try. I probably try telling that to people in real life, like. What? So, so I don't, I don't need donations of subscribers. I already, I mean, I already make some pretty decent money work, you know, working on my job. So, no need, so, no need to be an affiliate. And yes, I agree with this too. Again, they're treating people like potential dollar signs and not human beings. Uh. Okay, uh, when I play Path of Exile, I used to play Solo Cell Found Hardcore. Okay, so now or let, let me let me continue on what I was saying. But one, because uh, my computer has a habit of restarting, I put a new graphics card in there, and there's been times I'll be in the middle of streaming, all of a sudden, psh, screen goes black, and all of a sudden it goes to the restart screen. So. You know, ruining any kind of progress I had. Plus, uh, Path of Exile, the game itself, it crashes constantly. I mean, so this pretty much kills uh, any chance of me playing hardcore. So, because of that, I um, I demoted myself to playing solo cell phone softcore. So, I am so when I first started playing, I was challenging myself. But oh, second reason, second reason I quit hardcore. Uh, Path of Exile is a hell of a lot harder to play than uh, Diablo 3. Um, I'd probably say, uh, as far as difficulty goes, it's a close second to Diablo 2. I see a lot of things in Diablo 2 in uh, Path of Exile as well, like sudden one-shots. Uh, unless you grossly out-level slash out-gear the content you're running, you're gonna have... You can be... Your health bar will be nice and high. All of a sudden, pew, shoots down almost all the... Ah, you know, a lot of pants shitting moments on uh, Path of Exile. Same with Diablo 2. So, because of that, I pretty much floundered in content that I out-leveled that I could, with monsters that I could easily kill just like that. So, not really what I'd call hardcore. So, I shifted down to softcore so I can progress in the game. Um... As uh, this is something else I said or I said earlier. Normally easier. Um, one of the one of the turnoffs on Path of Exile is uh, players who have that have those one click clear builds, run into a screen room full of monsters, one click, they're all gone. I'm gonna classify them as this. Yeah, that no challenge there. Um, yeah, the other reason, I totally forgot about this one too. Sometimes why streamers do this, they do easy stuff, is so it allows them to concentrate on talking to the viewers. Um, to be fair, you know, this is one of the reasons why, uh, believe it or not, I don't play the game anymore, but Final Fantasy XIV was one of my favorite games. I love the crafting system on it. Um, and it's gathering system. Especially end game gathering, um, it was it, the strength was also its weakness. Um, in that game, there gathering mats was a uh, time based, it was a uh, in game time based. A node would only come up maybe once every 10, 15 minutes. So, but you could do kind of a bus route thingy, 
after you mine this node here and it won't turn on again for another 10-15 minutes so you go to location B mine their rare node there location C do the same thing so you can kind of set up a route route of doing this but the root beauty of that is um it's not very intensive you get to the next node super early so you got all this all this free time where you can sit there and talk to other viewers you can talk to the viewers you can do whatever else so yeah I definitely agree with this part yes this is one of the things that turns me off as well um kind of going back to the um to the extra fluff on their screens the latest donors the latest followers I don't give a shit I don't care who your latest donator is like I said I'm there to watch you stream a game I don't care who your followers or who your donators are so a lot of it's just wasted space on your screen <laughs> yes. He summed up pretty much everybody else's post into one word. Conversion, shut up and take my like. I mean, I still enjoy re reading all the other posts too, but it's just, you go from like, you come, come from like nearly walls of text, all this other stuff where basically echo chambers and you come down here. So, yeah. I kind of agree with this, too. But, um... As, uh... I have a... I have a very, uh... A very unique schedule. Like I said, I work the graveyard shift. So, I'm most... I'm going to be most active either in the mornings when everybody else is off to work. Or, uh, or uh, mid to late evenings, when I'm when I'm only gonna be streaming maybe maybe a couple hours, and I gotta go to work on my off nights. I maybe stream twice as long, four maybe five hours, but not no eight or not our eight or twelve hours or anything like that. So, uh, this is another one. Just doing it for the hell of it. Um, I bet you a lot of those top tier streamers, that's why they're doing it now. They're mainly in it for the money. Again, especially the ones that are, uh, they're making a living off of it. It's, there's a certain phrase, sentence, or paragraph or something. I got it up here in my head. It's perfect for this moment, but I can't remember what it was. But look. Oh, God, I wish I knew what it was. But I'll, I'll move along. Okay. It... Um, Asmund Gold. Um, he did a video, he did a video on this, uh, complaining about people that, they're, and I, to an extent, I agree with him, but he was, he was, he was pretty mad, he was almost nerd raging about streamers who complain that, uh, they don't get any viewers, but yet, they don't put any effort whatsoever into, you know, into their, into their stream, you know, they think that just by simply coming on, and just not not talking or interacting with the, any viewers at all or anything. You know, then they're supposed to get all these viewers somehow magically. You know, they're not willing to put forth the effort. And this is what Asma Gold was complaining about. So in, in that I agree. Um, but again, it was... The video, he wasn't... He wasn't really, wasn't really specifying any demographic or anything. But uh, if he was uh, if he was coming down on new people who don't know what they're doing, 
and chewing gum out. No, no, no. You know, kind of over the line on that. So, I don't... I've seen the video, I've seen the clip. I don't... I. It's going to be a whole lot of digging in order to find it. So, I'll just... I'm sure, I'm sure it's out there. You can probably do a Google search. I'm not trying to blow you off or anything. It's just... It, it's a hell of a lot easier for me to just say, go on Google, than have I me mean, have to dig through all the Twitter, Reddit threads, or having to go all over the place trying to find this particular clip. Okay, it, it looks like this is all... Okay, um, big streamer. Small and talking to the chat, good attitude. He's big streamers, I don't see the point, can't chat with him. I said this earlier, it's like you're dealing with a big bureaucracy. Half the time, I can't even get to him. I mean, again, so much chat going on over here, she, streamer doesn't see any. So I know they will see all... Jack, I actually chat back. Yes. Um, I guess kind of a side note, too. Small streamers are also going to be a lot more appreciative of you. I mean, the guy's at the top. I mean, they already have probably... They could probably have as many as 100,000 followers. I mean, you could sit here and... You could sit here and piss them off all. Obviously, their stream isn't until you turn blue in the face. They're not going to care. They'll probably be lapping in the bank for all I know. I mean, with all the money they're getting from the donations and whatnot... I mean, they ain't going to worry about one person. But, but uh, this small streamer here, if you chew him, I mean, if you chew him out over what a bad stream is, his ears are going to perk up and he's going to take you seriously. He doesn't get very many viewers, so he's, he's really going to listen to you. don't think he's going to like me very much. Although, because when I stream Path of Exile, I play vinyl records. And I have the in-game music muted. But, um, I mainly do that because the in-game music, from my end, it gets boring and repetitious. It really gets under my skin. Nearly every game is like that. Uh, the only exception would be when I stream Pinball Arcade. I mean, the voices, sound effects, and the sound are so awesome on pinball that I don't want to mute that out. So, but in, in Path of Exile, it's repetitious. So that's why I have that muted. Um, now, while loud music is playing, uh, from my end, I try to balance the sound to where the, the sound of the in-game sound effects, I try to keep them fairly equal maybe leading a little heavier on the vinyl on the vinyl music since I'm pretty sure uh, anybody who's uh, played Path of Exile is probably used to the sound effects anyway. So. But I don't I don't blare I don't blare my music. I don't this is and um when my earlier complaint about uh, other streamers playing bad music this is magnified when that music is super loud. I mean, I, I might make a concession if he's got like that crappy modern gangster rap music. If it's, but if it's like really quiet and in the background, I might stick around on his stream a little longer. At least, at least he's got the courtesy to not blare that stuff. I mean, so. Okay, so yeah, me and him are not going to get along. Because like I said, I play vinyl records when I stream. Something I started doing recently, I'll go on my own. When I'm streaming on Twitch, I'll actually have the Twitch chat popped out. So that way I can... Switch to that window and type down, be right back, bathroom, uh, be right back, getting something, you know, stuff like that. I'll type that down so it also shows up in my chat box on my, uh, on my, sh 
stream on my screen so people can see on the chat box. Be right back. Going to the bathroom so they'll know where I'm at. But yeah, it, this I kind of a minor turn off. I don't see it that often. But if I'm, you know, if, if, if I see a streamer with an empty webcam but nobody in it for a long period of time, I'm gone. You know, or at least tell me what you're doing. You know, don't just up and leave. Okay, um, probably gonna, probably just gonna be skipping a lot of these. <laughs> and where do you find firearms in the creative? interesting way of looking at it like gamers who stream over streamers who game I'm assuming he means he um I'm assuming he means uh people streamers that um take their viewers into consideration when they're playing their games like you know if they're playing a game and someone someone tries to chat with them you know he actually you know finds a stopping point and stops and chats with him you know doesn't just completely ignore him um my little nasty habit. I'll be... This is especially bad in Path of Exile. I've done this more times than I really want to admit. I'll be in the middle of an intense battle. Someone trying to talk to me. I'll just... Put a stop to it and like... Read the... Try to read the chat but then look back and... Oh shit, I'm dead. You know, I've done that numerous times. So... Uh, follow for follow. Uh, strictly speaking, I do this. But, um, to me, it's, uh, it's not, it's less a kid pro quo thing and more, hey, man, thanks a lot, you know, thanks a lot for giving me the follow. You know, I, because I know that there are a lot of streamers out there that are more intelligent, more entertaining, more charismatic, and, uh, more photogenic than I could ever be. But, so, so, thanks for giving me the follow. You know, I really appreciate that. That's how I look at it. I don't... Now... Now, um... I've had... Now, as far as, uh... Somebody actually coming up to me and saying... I want to do a follow for follow? I'll do it... Kind of grudgingly. But, um... It's... <clears throat> it's just kind of awkward saying... No, I don't do follow for follow. It, it, I, I can't put it into words. It just doesn't seem right. But like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't do, I don't do this joyfully. But uh, if somebody does take the initiative and follow me, I'll follow you. But it's not kid pro quo. It's just out of appreciation, because I am to me, because I believe I am speaking the truth on this. There's lots of streamers that are better than I am. So thanks for taking the time to follow on me. You know, I appreciate that. That's that's my point of view on this. How long have I been doing this? Okay, almost 45 minutes. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna have to cut this off here soon. I, I still gotta hop in the shower yet. I still gotta lay down. I gotta. I mean, I'm streaming Path of Exile tonight, and I still have to work tonight too. So, tiny brand new releases. I am not this kind of person. Like I, I. I tend to kind of go my own way as far as games go. My uh, main game is Path of Exile. Um, pretty popular uh, action role-playing game, action RPG, and even shorter ARPG. It's pretty po It's considered one of the better ones, but even then, it's still not as popular as uh, Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. Um, and my other game that I stream, Pinball Arcade, very, very rare game. 
or I should say very, very few people play that. So it it's pretty much a ghost town. I think me and me one maybe uh I, I can think of probably two people at the most that play pinball arcade, but they're the kind of people that are more likely to play the real life tables and not the video game tables like I do. So I have millions to choose from. Yes, that goes back to what I was saying here. I mean, I, I, you follow me, I follow you. That's out of appreciation, no, that kid pro quo. <laughs> At least he's honest. Just for the simple fact that he just put something down totally different from everybody else's, I'm giving him a like. Even though I'm actually, I actually am turned off by boob streamers. Okay, but I, it looks like uh, this is just a big echo chamber. I've already said my part, so. And like I said earlier, like I said before, I still got to hit the shower. I still got to lay down. I, I'm still streaming Twi uh, Path of Exile tonight, and I still have to work tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off here. And <laughs> I got to get going. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I appreciate it. Uh, take care, and see you next time.